What is up, you guys? Welcome to my brand new channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you clicked on this video, you probably are dying to learn more about YouTube. You want to grow your channel. You want to grow your business, expand your empire, girl. I get it. And I'm here to help. And I know that this is not the usual fancy schmancy, amazing quality, um, you know, all that cute stuff. This is going to be about heart. This is gonna be about my experience. If you don't know me, my name is Nigel. I do already have a main YouTube channel and I will link that down below in the description bar so you guys can check out. It is more like a variety channel. I do music, drag, reaction videos, lots of, lots of fun things involved with the media and just all the things that I like to get off my chest. So if you guys wanna check out that channel, please make sure you guys click that, subscribe over there. It's a lot of fun over there. But I started that YouTube channel one year ago today. So it's been exactly a year and I have already amassed 10,000 subscribers over on that YouTube channel and almost a million views. I'm at like 680,000 uh, 980, um, right now. Very, very close to a million views and I'm so lucky and I can honestly say my subscribers and the family that I built there are just so genuine and so real and I could not be happier. I could not be happier that I found a group of people who truly, truly believe in what I do. And this past year of me chasing my YouTube dreams and, and, and things happening to me tenfold, all I could think about while it was happening is I can't wait to give back. I can't wait to tell my story and share my information with the world because as I was posting my videos and creating all this creative, amazing, entertaining content that was straight from my heart, I literally just was watching YouTube videos. So every night after I was done making videos, I would always watch videos online of my favorite coaches and just tips. And I would learn and teach myself YouTube analytics. I would learn and teach myself social media and branding and tags and all the things that it takes to understand and truly learn YouTube. And I would watch people unboxing their 100 subscriber plaques and just things like that to really, really inspire me. Like I wanted to really, really to put that into my brain that this was possible. The YouTube analytic mo monthly reports of people doing their money, stuff like that, seeing what they made in a month, seeing what they made in a year. I wanted to, I watched thousands of these videos because it just showed me that, wow, people are doing this and you can do it too. And I was just gagged and I would just keep on pushing myself. And the beginning was so hard. Like the struggle between zero subscribers to a hundred subscribers is not the same str struggle between a hundred and a thousand. So I'm so lucky to have gone through the journey. And all, like I said, what got me through it the most was those amazing YouTube coaches online. And they taught me so much. Every night I curled up in bed and I watched so many YouTubers just teach me their their confidence and their their tips and their tricks. And I knew in the back of my mind, I loved my channel so much. I love being an entertainer. I love to act and sing and create music and music videos through my drag persona over on that channel. I love that. Like that is my heart and, and joy. But I have decided because last year I really conquered my fear with YouTube and now I don't want to doubt myself when I have an idea. I want to go for it and I also want to teach you guys to do the same, but I want to become this YouTube coach online and I started the second channel. I want to make sure I give all my information to you guys, all of the things that I've learned. I want to make sure I pass them right along to you guys right from my story. So that's what's so special about this is there's so many people on YouTube telling their story, showing their analytics, doing this, doing that. Um, good quality, bad quality, good personality, bad personality personality. The point is everyone's different and everyone can connect with someone different. So if I'm, if I at least help one person on this platform, then that's good enough for me. I mean, if it's, if it's more then that's amazing. And more importantly, if some other gay feminine or all the things that I may be, if anyone like me sees this and they think that they can't become a YouTuber or, or influencer or any of those things, you can. And if you are different in any way, you can do this. And if you haven't started yet in any way, you can do do this and if you just started last year and you just haven't gotten any views you can do this and I hope that my tips and tricks 
are different from everyone else's and I feel like they will be because the things that I learned I just feel like are specific to this past year and and 2020 and now that we're going into 2021 things have changed so all the information that's already on YouTube from the amazing YouTube coaches that I learned from the information has changed and it's updated so I'm excited to show you like my version of how things went in my year. So this channel will be a mix of kind of like me explaining my story, but you guys learning from my story. So I'm going to go through the moments where I went viral, go through the moments where I tagged things and got picked up by recommendations and YouTube analytics and my videos were pushed up for YouTube because my tags were good. I'm going to go through all those moments, my 100 subscriber mark. I have videos like that already on my channel and I have a playlist made now on this channel so you can check those out already. But I'm going to be retelling those stories, how I got monetized, what it was like to get to that thousand subscriber mark, what it was like when I went viral, how much money I made after I was monetized and I went viral, what happened to my channel after. There's just, there's so many things that can happen and it's, it all happened to me in one year. So I just feel like I learned from such a different side. So I'm, it's going to be an exciting channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the notifications because much like my other channel, I'm only going to post when I feel cute. So whenever I have these ideas, ideas and I want to share them and pass them along to you guys. I'm going to be on here pumping them out to you guys and I'm also going to take your suggestions. So make sure you write in the comments what you want me to teach you. I'm already have so many ideas for lesson plans. Every episode will be like a class. So I may be teaching confidence. I might be teaching social media. I might be teaching um, how to get views on YouTube. I might be teaching all different types of things that I pretty much Googled myself. Like all the things that I looked up and I needed to watch myself, I'm going to be teaching you as well as things that I just feel like people need to know. Like I really feel this need to like share my YouTube story and have people learn from it and grow from it and with it with me. So I'm going to be doing it like much like a class. So it'll be like with an easel board like this for almost every episode that we have here or every video that we have here. And this is just like, I'll be getting through like points like this. So in the beginning here, this just gives me like a list of things like I've already explained to you guys of stuff I'll be doing on the channel social media and YouTube I'm going to be going through the ins and outs the analytics all the things about social media all the things about YouTube how they connect with one another how you promote everything that you do everything that you want to be your brand all that stuff ties into all one another and more importantly the branding of it how to be cute is actually more so about like your personality, believe it or not. It's not even about a shallow, like how to be cute, how to smile, how to like wear makeup. It's not about that. How to be cute is going to be something I'll be teaching here. It's going to be more about how to be genuine, how to show your heart, how to be your authentic true self, which essentially leads to the next point of how to get views. There's lots of how to get views videos on YouTube and I love them all so much, but they're all very, very analytical. No one really talks about what it's like when you share your heart and how the views differ when you open yourself up and you share your soul with YouTube. It's very, very different than, you know, making sure your tags are right and that's the way you got views. I want to share a different, different type of way to to get views, to get subscribers with, with by being 100% yourself, not so much having the best idea. Idea, not so much having you know the best camera quality but getting I getting views from your heart you know what I mean getting views from what is on inside of you and then last but not least the tags the SEO and all that stuff I will definitely get into that because I know that that's important but it's about the mix of them all together it's about knowing the analytics and the under roots of YouTube but then also knowing when the, the camera is running and it's time to go it's time to click on yourself it's not time to click on a character it is not time this is the one place you guys can truly be yourself and the people who like you for who you are will find you and they will support you and it is the most beautiful thing I was making content content for literally zero people this time last year but the point is I started I started making videos and you know what I'll tell you the truth is I didn't even tell anyone I didn't even want anyone to know I had the channel because I was that embarrassed that I had no subscribers and no views but I started and I I always fear of like the other alternate universe where I did it start because it, it's so sad to think that I would not have almost a million views and 10,000 10, subscribers 10,000 people who support and believe what I do if I never would have started and I don't want anyone to miss the opportunity to begin I don't want anyone who has the littlest thought of either growing their channel starting a channel they to think that it's too late or think that you're not good enough or to think that you're just not cute enough or smart enough or you don't have enough ideas or 
if you have a heart and a passion for this and you want to do it and you have a and you don't even need a genuine niche and that's what i mean about my information being a little bit more up to date because every youtube video i saw told me i had to pick a niche and that almost scared me away from not having a youtube channel i was like how do i narrow down to one thing and i know that i know understand i understand analytically how that can affect you and how that's so much better for you if you narrow down to a niche and i'm gonna get into that when I do a video on niches, I'm going to tell you guys even more about that. But it almost scared me watching all these mentors tell me you need to have a niche. When I decided no against that, I'm going to have a variety channel because I love to act. I love to sing. I love to do, do drag. I love to do makeup. I love music, to create music behind the scenes of my music videos. And I'm, on top of that, I started reacting to different music videos, reacting and reviewing t TV shows that inspired my life that were helping me write the music. That to, So to me, everything was connected. So I, I wanted to be a great example of what a variety channel could be. And that is something I'm so proud that I made because every Everything on there is me and attached to me in one way or form. So I hope you guys enjoy the variety channel. I hope you guys enjoy this channel where I'm going to share a lot of my journey and my tips and my tricks and all the things that I, I learned kind of building that brand over there. And I'm just so excited to show you guys what I've learned and have these classes with you guys. And I really, really hope you enjoy them and learn and, gr and grow and, more, and, and show your heart. More importantly, show your heart and your passions because, like I said, don't let the, those fear of have, having to have a niche or this, this, and that turn you off. If you like to do multiple things, put them all on your channel. Be yourself and let it all out and see what happens. You never, ever know. So a lot of the rules have changed. A lot of the world has changed and YouTube has changed right along with it. So subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you got even a little bit of great information from it. And I can't wait to give more content like this to you guys. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.